me Morgan and welcome to my shower. So today's video is going to be on my natural hair. I haven't done a natural hair video in a minute. So since we're all quarantined, I decided to take my sew-in out and focus more on my natural hair because I feel like this is the perfect time to focus on my natural hair and try different hairstyles since I really never learned how to do my natural hair. So I went natural in 2010, 2009, 2010. And like ever since then, I've just been wearing like weaves, wigs, you know, etc. So I think it's time for me to, you know, try different hairstyles and whatnot. So I did get some new natural hair products, which I'm super excited about. Not really natural hair products, but just new hair products um, that I have never tried before. So I did get some hair products from the Hair Kitchen, ATL. I found them on a friend's Insta story and I got their oil and I got their um, sugar scrub, which exfoliates your hair before you wash it. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. Okay, so let's talk about this first product. It's number one, and this is the exfoliating um, brown sugar scalp scrub, which I have never used a scalp scrub on my hair, but just looking at the website and what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to remove dead skin cells, removes product buildup, significantly reduces dandruff, um, removes excess oil, removes dirt and balances pH. So this is how it comes. Um, this product was $25. Um, so it comes like this and it looks like that inside. So it is a brown sugar, you know, a little scrub. And as you can see, there's like little liquid but you have to mix it all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix it together. And they said the best way to apply this is put your hair in like four sections and exploit your scalp. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm super excited to try this. And it smells super good. All right, so yesterday I took my sewing out. Like I said, I had the sewing for about a month, I believe. And my head was itching so much and you guys, no, I work out, so I like sweat and all that, and it was just a whole bunch of buildup and whatnot in it. So um, I took my mom actually took it out, and it took forever to take out. And I'm not doing this right, yeah. Took forever to take out, and I just put it like this because she took my hair out, and it took super super long. I didn't finish until like midnight. I left my parents' house. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put my hair into these four sections real quick so I can go ahead and exfoliate my scalp. Okay, so I have my hair in four sections and I will say my hair is a little damp just because I did just get done um, working out so I did sweat. Um, I think that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and start in the back. And I already combed my hair out. I'm going to comb it out one more time. Just so it's nice and like tangle free. My hair detangles very, very easily, which I'm thankful for. But I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. I'm just going to take a little bit at a time like this is a tiny tiny bit I'm just gonna put it in my scalp first I never done this before <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my scalp hopefully I'm getting my scalp to take all these out and this one's a little bit straighter because I did have leave out and I did um, wand curl it the last day I did have my sewing in so I'm just 
gonna go ahead and run my hands through my scalp like this and exfoliate probably for like five minutes. Today I'm going to use this and it's Cantu's and I think it's texture, it's their texture line. Um, and it has apple cider vinegar and tea tree oil in it and it's a soothing shampoo. But since I had my hair not sewing for like a month and I probably have like a lot of product buildup in it, I'm going to add this to my hair even though it's not wet. And I'm also going to scrub this in and massage it for a little bit gonna be dripping I already know um, I'm gonna massage this in just so my hair can get nice and clean because I feel like it's so yucky from you know having it in a sewage forever well it's not that long but from it having being in a sewage for a while you get a lot of buildup and you just want to make sure your scalp it's nice and clean. So I'm gonna make sure I get all this in and then I'm gonna wash it out. Right, so I put this um, scalp scrub in and the shampoo, the apple cider vinegar shampoo on my hair while it was dry. So I'm about to rinse my hair off, so I'll be back. All right, so all done. I rinsed my hair off. I believe I got all this sugar scrub out of my hair. Um, my hair, my scalp feels so like fresh and like invigorated. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take um, this shampoo right here. All right, so I'm gonna take this shampoo right here and I love the Maui Moisture Line. So this is my first time actually using this one right here, which is the Fortifying Hemp Seed Oil Shampoo. Um, and hemp reminds me of growing stuff. So uh, I feel like this is gonna be a very, very good shampoo. I think this one is one of their newest ones, uh, but I use their vanilla bean line, which I love, which I'm actually gonna use for my conditioner. So I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair with this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair. And when I shampoo my hair, I don't really put it into sections. Um, I just do one side at a time, so just in half. Um, and yeah. All right, so I'm done um, shampooing my hair and massaging it. And I did use this right here. And this is like a little handheld massager. Um, I got it off of Amazon. I'm 90% sure if I did, I will leave the link below. But yeah, this is not electric or anything. It's just a manual one, but it works really, really good and it's really good at massaging and like getting all into your hair. So what I'm going to do now, oh, before I move on, this shampoo I noticed did not lather up a whole lot, um, but it was like, to me, like a nice lather. It feels all nice and clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my hair now. All right, so all the shampoo's washed out. Next, I'm going to use my Maui Moisture Vanilla Bean Conditioner. So this is the Maui Moisture Vanilla Bean Conditioner and it is for frizzy hair. Um, so I absolutely love this. I use this line like all the time now and it really helps smooth your hair out, I'm telling you. And vanilla smells so amazing. Like I love it so much, it has vanilla, cocoa butter in it. So I highly recommend this. I have been using this line for the longest. So I'm gonna go ahead and condition my hair and use my Demon brush to comb through it and then I'm gonna deep condition my hair as well. Um, you guys know when you shampoo your hair, you strip a lot of the moisture out. So I'm trying to put it back in with this. Now I'm going to deep condition it with this pumpkin mint deep treatment and I absolutely love this. This is from Curl Dynasty. Um, you can get it at Target. 
Um, certain targets have it, but this was on clearance, which I was so happy. I used a whole thing of this already and I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and deep condition my hair with this right here. And make sure you guys use a shower cap when you are putting leave -in, not leave-in, a deep treatment or like a deep conditioner in. So yes, and if you have a dryer, it's best to sit under a dryer so your hair can get all the moisture and everything from the deep treatment. So I'm gonna leave this on for probably like 15 minutes and then come back and rinse it off. And then I'll be all done with the washing process. All right, so 15 minutes is up and it is time to rinse my hair. And before I rinse, I just wanna tell you guys that I do use my dimming brush when I condition and deep condition because when I rinse my hair out, um, I want the curls to be defined. So I found that as a good trick to make sure you use a dimming brush before um, you rinse your hair. So while it's deep condition, rinse it off and let it air dry. So it's time to rinse now. All right, so I just rinsed the deep conditioner off my hair and I'm gonna try something different today. I'm wringing my hair out now. So I have um, two more steps I need to do. And I know I usually do not um, use my dimming brush after I wash my hair because I feel like it shrinks so much. I'm going to go ahead and put my last product on, I mean my second to last product on, which is this hair butter. So this is the hair butter and I love this hair butter so much. This is my third container of it, but it smells so good. And you can use it as like a leave-in as well. That's what I'm doing and that's what I usually do, but it smells so good. So I'm just gonna apply this to my hair and I'm going to do put it on each side. So this is the amount I'm using and I'm going to actually use my dim and brush and then pull my hair to kind of smooth it out. So my hair is still very wet. So I'm gonna, let's see how this turns out because I have never done this. I am defining my curls after the shower. Oh my gosh. I just know it's gonna shrink a lot, but I'm going to do this first and kind of just like smooth it out and define it and then I can let it air dry like that. And I know there's like a lot of product coming out. So I have my leave-in in. Do that. Okay, so this is the final step, and this is also from the Hair Kitchen. It's number five, and it's the Rosemary Peppermint Hair Growth. Um, I got the six ounce. I think the six ounce was $40, but I saw a lot of good things about this. So, I'm going to take this, and as you can see, like, my edges need some help. So that's what I've been working on for the past couple months. And I saw a lot of good things about this right here. So while my hair is still wet, oop, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to my edges. Um, like so. And I'm gonna apply it down the middle as well. And I'm also gonna apply some more after my hair is air dried. But for now, I just wanna apply it to the edges and kind of massage it in a little bit. And this will also help lay my hair down in the front. All right, so I'm going to take a black scarf and I'm using this little, it's like a satin scarf. And I'm going to apply it around here like this, just play it around, tie it in the back. And bring it back up, like so. Mm -hmm. 
Woohoo, make sure no hair is stuck underneath it. All right, so I have my scarf on. Now I'm just going to kind of like play with it to mold it so it can air dry the way I want it to. So I do have it kind of like in the middle. And my hair grows down and not like out, so I'm gonna have to flip over and kind of give it some more volume at the top of my head. So I gave it some kind of volume. So I'm gonna let my hair air dry and once it's like completely dry, I will come back and show you guys what my hair looks like. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, so here's a little close up. Uh, this part of my hair is looser because it has a semi heat damage to it. Um, but this is the rest of my hair and what the curls look like. So we're gonna see how this dries out and everything. Okay you guys, it's been about four hours later and my hair is like 90% dry right now. Um, the roots like deep inside are a little damp, but I don't feel like waiting any longer because I think this is as good as it's gonna get, okay? So, um, my hair is dry. Oh my gosh, my phone. My hair is pretty much dry and I feel like my hair just looks like a coily, curly afro, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know, my hair texture is so weird. Like, I love my hair texture, but it's just like, I don't know. It's like the ends are so like coily and stuff. And then the inside or like the middle of my hair is just like the middle of the hair strand. It's just like there. It's just like blah, you know, whatever. Um, I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, um, those products that I used in the video, um, some of them like Maui Moisture, I always been using and I love their products. Um, the hair catch the hair kitchen <laughs> the hair kitchen is a new product that I just tried today and I really like it that scalp scrub felt amazing on my hair okay it felt so good my scalp felt so you know fresh and invigorated and all that um, the hair oil I really liked it I like the smell of it and I'm gonna keep using it every single day especially around the front of my hair and also as you can see like um, my, the front of my hair is laid down pretty much so the front of my hair is laid down from that scarf I have like I don't even want to put a brush to my hair like I don't want to do my edges nothing because I'm really focusing on the front of my hair and getting it back a little thicker um, I never really had like super, super thick edges. They've always been like kind of thin, but I noticed they've been thinner, you know. And they have gotten thicker in the past couple months because I've been, you know, making sure I kept them oiled and moisturized and all that. So I will continue to be using that oil from the hair kitchen. Um, I'll leave all the links below to the products that I did use in the video. Um, but yeah, you guys, this hair, my, this hair, my hair is not in like a specific style or anything. Um, it's literally just me washing my hair and letting it air dry and y'all can see how it is. So I feel like I look like a 12 year old right now and I don't know, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like if I go out to the grocery store, they're going to be like thinking like I'm like a teenager or something and I'm actually 30 not 12 but <sighs> yes so please you guys if you guys have any tips please let me know because during this quarantine I really really want to focus on my hair and growing it making sure it's super healthy and trying new things so I have tried already uh, two strand twists and braid outs and those do not work on my hair because my hair texture is so like fine and um, it's like super, super soft. Um, when I take the twist out or the braid out out of my hair, it just looks so limp. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I think I tried it before on a video, I can't remember. But yeah, it's just like my hair, it's really, really fine. I know it looks like it's super thick or something, 
but it's super, super fine, okay? But I do wanna try um, a flat twist out. So I watched a YouTube video on how to do a flat twist, because I don't think I've really ever done flat twists before like that. So I think I'm gonna try that today, and I'll, not today, or maybe today. Whenever I try it, I'm going to record it so you guys can see what it looks like when I take that out as a style. But I'm just gonna keep trying and see what I come up with, you guys. Um, this is very new to me. I've been natural for like 11 years and I still don't know what to do. So please help me. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the back of my hair as well so you can see what it looks like. It's just like a blah there. So this is the back of my hair. It just looks like a coily cotton ball. That's about it. So yeah, you guys, um, let me do like a little length check so y'all can see. My hair could be so much longer if I actually like let it breathe and take care of it. So that's another reason why I took my sewing out because I want my hair to, you know, get some oxygen and stuff, but it's down to here. Um, yeah, down there. But y'all, this shrinkage is so aggravating, like, I don't even know. But I'm gonna go look up some more natural hair videos and find something to do to my hair. Um, I'll make sure I leave everything below. Please let me know what you guys think. Give me some advice, whatever, okay? Please help me. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Oh yeah, also, I did um, get this Maui Moisture, and it's a finishing, not finishing, an oil mist. So I did put some of this on my hair. Um, to make sure it's extra moisturized in there and everything. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.